So, okay. So hi, everybody. Um, so we haven't done a lunch bunch in a really long time. And um, it's always fun to do them. And so I think I'm going to start pulling these lunch bunches together once or twice a week, different topics. Sometimes we used to do a lot of um, uh, role playing on how to talk to people about the business and what to say in a sponsoring interview. Um, I, I, and so I'm, I'm thinking that I want to get back around to that too, because that's such a great topic. It's really fun to bring up the subject with people and see what they say, but then sometimes we don't know what to say next <laughs> based on what it is that they tell you. So, but there are strategies for that. And I, I think it'd be fun to get back into, but anyway, for, for today, my mind is really on bookings. I posted a picture of my tailgate party from last Thursday night that I did um, in, uh, I live here in Northern Virginia, so we're sort of open for business. Um, everybody is mandated to wear a mask and uh, in buildings, not too much outside, but in buildings. <clears throat> but I decided that because I was doing business, I needed to wear a mask around the people if I was close to them. If I was with friends, I probably wouldn't. But because I was doing business, I wanted to make sure I was wearing a mask and all that. But anyway, you can look online to see the pictures that I posted because I also posted how I pack up my jewelry too um, so that it travels really well. Because somebody asked the question, how do you keep it all from sliding around? That's a great question. So anyway, but what I wanted to talk about today is who do we who do we approach to offer parties to and i came up with an acronym for it and the acronym is hello it's just simply hello and um the first one is high high tech high touch so these are the people so we're looking for people who are high tech high touch to book parties with so we're looking for the people who are good in technology period. They have to be comfortable with technology, but they also have to like people. In other words, they've got to have some friends. So the first is an H and it's high tech, high touch. So we're looking for those people. I'm sorry, I've got poison ivy on my arm and my leg. <laughs> I just keep making sure I'm not scratching the poison ivy. <laughs> um, the second one is the E, of course, and it's engaged in social media. Um, you know, during normal seasons, we can do parties with people who are not on social media. You know, the, the gal who's in her 70s who really wants to have her girlfriends over for a luncheon, but she doesn't really do anything online. And she just calls her friends and they all come to her party, right? That's probably not going to be who we're going to focus on right now because we're mostly doing digital or maybe driveway tailgate parties. So what we're looking for is people who are, who are engaged in social media, not just have a presence, but are absolutely engaged in social media. They post things, they comment on things, um, and they're, they're active on social media. So that's super important that we look for those people. Um, the third one is an L, lots of friends. So we're not looking for the person who has 54 friends, and she's always reposting somebody else's stuff. We're looking for people who have their own content, their own mind, and um, post things about their lives. Um, because they're the ones who are really sharing things with other people as opposed to just reposting this, reposting that. You know, that, that's not true content. And that doesn't mean that they have friends. It just means that they like to repost stuff. That's not the same. That's not, probably not the kind of person that you're going to want to be doing parties with. The other side of it with the lots of friends is again, looking at them on Facebook and figuring out, are people responding to them or are they just posting stuff and nobody ever says a word? So again, we're being strategic about who we're offering parties to. So we're not wasting our time and anybody else's time and getting all those discouraging no's, right? So they have a lot of friends they're posting stuff that's engaging and they're getting responses back. That's another good sign. The fourth one is really different and it's love fashion. Um, I got to spell it right for jewelry. So somebody who dresses cute usually takes it up a notch. She doesn't have to be, um, you know, a fashionista, 
but somebody who takes care of herself, somebody who maybe does go to get her hair done, who does get her nails done on occasion, who enjoys getting dressed up and looking pretty. Somebody who doesn't do any of those things is not a good candidate for booking a party. Because again, what we're trying to do is, it's, it's the quick route. Who are, the, who are these people who would most likely to say yes? And the ones who love fashion or jewelry um, are those. Okay, so that's the H-E-L-L. -L. So what's the O? Because remember our, our um, what's the word? I just lost it again. Acronym. Thank you. <laughs> our acronym is HELLO. And so the last one is optimist and cheerful. Optimist and cheerful. We don't want the ones who post all the negative political stuff, who are constantly complaining about things on social media. We're looking for the ones who are happy and sunshiny and smiley and the ones who make you smile when you think of them. Because those are the people who are gonna see possibilities rather than the negatives. Anybody can see the negatives and oh, people might not come, oh, my friends might not like it. Well, why wouldn't, I've never heard that actually oh, I don't have any friends, or oh, all my friends are out of work, money. all the negatives, right. We're not, we don't want those people. We want to offer parties to the optimists who are cheerful. And so think about it. These characteristics are your most likely suspects. If we're offering to anybody else, we want to think twice about it because it might not even be worth our energy and our heart because it takes a piece out of us when we get a lot of no's, right? So that's what I wanted to think about. So what do we say, you know, the, um, to offer these parties? And part of it is um, whether or not we're offering all digital and, um, or if you want to offer the sparkle tailgate idea. If you're going to offer a sparkle tailgate idea for somebody who's local to you, if you're living in an area where you can get away with that, I don't mean get away with it like you're doing something wrong. I just mean where um, the culture of your area right now is, is positive toward that, positive enough toward that. Um, you can use the photograph that I posted and, um, and say, who's, you know, I'm looking for friends who are ready for um, a sparkle tailgate in your driveway. Would that be fun for you and your friends? A chance to get together for an hour in your front lawn and, you know, paint the picture. Um, of them getting free jewelry, of you getting free jewelry, them finally seeing each other in a safe way. Um, obviously, if it's digital, you're not gonna post that picture, <laughs> but you might post, um, you might ask your last couple of hostesses who did get jewelry to take a picture of all the jewelry that they did get. Like, put all their jewelry on a little table and take a picture of it. And you can have a couple pictures of saying, this is what my last hostess just got. So my last two hostesses just got for doing a digital party so that they're seeing practical stuff when we're offering um, parties digitally. So those are some of the, some of the just really basic, quick and dirty. Sometimes we just have to go back to the basics um, of how to offer these things. And I think the visual is very important. I just posted that picture of my tailgate on Instagram and I said, um, how do I find that? Hang on. And I said, sparkle tailgate parties in your driveway. Who's next? PM me for a date. The sparkle tailgate parties in your driveway. Who's next? PM me for a date. And then I said, we practice safe sparkle and can't wait to get together with your friends and lavish you with gorgeous summertime jewelry. Um, I'll post it on the team page in just a second. What I what I posted on Instagram. I'm gonna do that in my bling page also, my VIP page, um, because I want them to see, you know, what's possible. And um, I, I think it's such a novel idea that you're gonna catch some imagination uh, on, on that one. But again, don't offer it to the negative Nellies. You gotta offer it to the positive people who are in touch with their friends, who are engaged in social media, because again, it's even that is going to be driven by social media because it's Facebook event page first that drives people to come to this driveway <laughs> in the first place. So um, I don't think that anything changes with the, the hello acronym. Thank you, Raina, for the word, <laughs> for prompting me. Okay, so thoughts, 
concerns, things that you would add to that? This is something different than the tailgate. I actually just booked, I have a big, um, a large deck that we can social distance. Huh. So I'm doing a sangria, sangria and sparkle on the deck. Nice. And we're doing it from three to five, but they have to sign up for what time they're coming. Oh. They either sign up for three to four or four to five so that we can keep the numbers down. Lisa, that's so smart. I love it. And again, so that's like organized and people want something that feels organized and mm -hmm. feels safer, you know, right. like you thought about that's so that is really, I love that idea. Really smart. And in, in the event I'm going to put, you know, we're practicing social distancing. Oh. There'll be hand sanitizer raffle for the cutest mask. <laughs> and, you know, I'll probably give them a, a touchstone, you know, one of the yep. little charms, but at least brilliant. in an indirect way, I'm telling them to wear, wear their mask. That's brilliant, Lisa. I love that. Yeah. You know, it was really funny when I did the tailgate on Thursday, I was the only one wearing a mask. So what that told me was that if I was, if I approached the, my car, like I stayed literally 10 feet away, but if I walked toward them, I put my mask on when I walked toward them. So at least I knew I was being right. If it had just been girlfriends, I wouldn't have done that. But as, as a business person, I needed to do that. But at least I love that idea. That is such a cute idea. Prize for the cutest face cutest mask. mask. Cutest mask. I love it. That's great. That's very smart. Okay. Love it. Anybody else? Thank you for that. You're welcome. Does this clear any cobwebs out for anybody? This is clearing cobwebs out for me, just trying to figure this out. Wendy, you're nodding. Um, I like the acronym and it gives you a focus. Yep. Of who to shoot for. Yes. Like one of the girls I reached out to who was a former consultant was excited about the $15 ice bracelets. But then I said, well, you know, host a party because if you host a party, well, nobody has any money. Right. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, well, you may not, but people are shopping. <laughs> so, you know, obviously not an optimist. Right. She's not an optimist. No. Right. The optimist will say, I think I have some friends who would really love it. Right. The pessimist will say, a lot of my friends aren't working. Right. It, which, which, which camp are they going to go to? Right. You have to kind of gauge ahead of time because it, it's not worth fiddling with all with them at this right now. Right. Yeah. We're looking for fun. We're looking for fun people. <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah. Any last comments? It's they're up, we're at 15 minutes already. Anybody else? All right. Love you girls. Have a fantastic day and hopefully I'll see y'all tonight. We're going to talk about Facebook parties. Lisa, Thanks, thank you for being on. Nice to see you. Thank you. You bet. Take care. Bye, everybody. Bye -bye. Thanks. That's mm -hmm. my pleasure.